to die, we bring the cheetahs back home. No, it is a very special day, not just because cheetahs are beautiful and you know they are very charismatic, but they are top predator. And you can only, I think, bring a top predators when things are ready in the area, in terms of all your bases. It's a significant uh, conservation milestone. Very proud, obviously. Very, very proud. So cheetah are different from lion and leopard in that they are cursorial predators. They, they, they identify weak individuals in a group and they hunt them down. Whereas lion and leopard are ambush predators. So the first animal that comes past them, they take it. So lion and leopard don't control genetics. They don't remove weak genetics. Whereas a cheetah uh, can watch from a distance, it'll spot the weak genetics and it'll, it'll knock them out. So they play a very important role in removing weak genetics from antelope populations and actually making them stronger. We started from two sites in South Africa. The one is near Kimberley and the other one is at Pinda. So the first one uh, we started three days ago by capturing two female wild cheetahs. And this was a helicopter capture, immobilization from the air. When they are chased, of course, the um, body temperature rises tremendously and they, um, they start panting to cool down. So once they are immobilized, it's very, very important to cool them down to 37 degrees. And the reason for that is that for every one degree that the body temperature rises, the oxygen demand increases by 10%. So if there's a 2 cc increase in body temperature, that means that is 20% more oxygen demand from the body. So the most important thing is to cool them down properly before they are crated and loaded onto the plane. The second load was uh, fortunately in a boma, so they weren't exhausted when they were loaded, but it's always um, very important to keep them properly tranquilized during the flight. Ashia does what it can to help. I mean, that's very simply put, but um, we like to partner with, with parties that are just, has the same vision that we have, that's got conservation at its core, and we see where we can help and see what we can do to support them to actually achieve those goals. The real reason for this success is, is that it's a combination of, of partnerships with, with all sorts, all sectors, donors, governments, communities. Um, to eventually uh, bring one to where you are today.